Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. How's everyone doing? I, me or everyone? Uh, well, uh, just just you. I'm doing well. You're you're aggressively drinking coffee in the afternoon, not the morning. Bro, it's not like the afternoon. It's, it's one thirty. After- it's not one thirty. It's it's, it's after- one thirty four p.m. Just stop it, Joey. Okay. It's, oh, we're doing a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's five p.m. Oh, after normal work hours. Also, people drink at five p.m. Coffee? Yeah. Bro, that's psychotic, dude. Well, a lot of people are do they do a lot of coffee. Well, stuff. I don't I think it's more other if they're doing coffee at five PM, they're doing coke at First of all, at it's six. totally okay to have coffee too, like at night. Like well, after a dinner. There are some people that an have been, espresso. Well, that's crazy to me. Like in fucking Italy, they're like, yo, with my dessert, give me the strongest coffee you could imagine. Psychopathy. Absolute psychosis, if you ask me. I have done the espresso after dinner before if and, you're gonna go out and what do you do you stay up all night well i guess oh, it's not like fucking that well some people are very sensitive to caffeine personally i am not uh, like i can have a tea in the evening you know like a light oolong or something like that but if i get like a heavy heavy tea i'll be fucking i won't be able to sleep what is heavy tea bro they have teas that are pretty oxidized that'll fucking keep you up for a couple hours what kind of, how many milligrams of caffeine are we talking about i mean uh, the the strongest cup of tea will have like half the milligrams of a a a clerp a curve a clerp a curve um but <laughs> <laughs> but it it's still pretty fucking strong it, it's also different because ca- caffeine from coffee like hits you like a fucking like a coke binge like it fucking like bang 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 bang. Nah, nah, nah. Tea nah, nah. like chills you out. You're like, yo, it's good. Coffee's I, like. Oh, la, 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 la. I mean, I like having tea before bed. It keeps you warm. You're like. Ooh. But you're you you have chamomile tea, which is herbal, which has no caffeine. Nice. Yeah. But I'm talking like. You want that hard actual shit. tea, black oh. tea, green tea. You know, oolong. Whoa. Oolong. Well, hard B. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I started off with African American yeah. tea. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Jesus. Um. <laughs> Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm just being super sensitive because I was canceled recently. You were online. Yes, I was canceled by the Swifties. Oh, that's right. They got you. They got me. They got you. They 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 love to get somebody. Yeah, I, I mean, this isn't my first run in with a with a <coughs> fan base. Uh, I've had a fan base run in before. With who? The, the the Beehive. The Beehive or the Bayhive, isn't it? I uh, I don't mean any disrespect uh, by not oh, knowing the name. Oh, did I just get myself in trouble? Uh, I don't know. I, it's one of those, well, but. What was more aggressive, the the easily the Taylor Swift fans? Really? Yeah. What do they call themselves? The Swift the sw- men? Swifties. Swifties. Not the Swift men. I don't know. I'm thinking they're like women. Oh, men to and my, women. To I'm my sure. knowledge. Wow. First now of I'm all, assuming. you see, he's attacking and assuming your gender. I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's no, they slash them. You should so just use. So here's here's what happened. Like I was on Twitter during the Oscars, which I didn't even know that was on. Uh, Will very, Sp- very poorly, uh, you know, advertised. Yeah, no one well, cares. Let's get a new marketing team for the Oscars. Uh, but the Oscars were on. Obviously, Will Smith slaps fucking Chris Rock, and uh, which we're not going to talk about because it's been done. It's been fucking beat to hell, beat to the ground. It's been slapped on stage. What? You- uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that happened, and I, I was just like tweeting shit, um, and I was mostly impressed with like the form of the slap. I thought the slap was like. That was like a legit, that was a very professional looking slap. Whether you agree with the slap or not, it was an amazing slap. That's clearly someone like textbook slap. Will Smith spent too much time rapping about getting jiggy with it, and like my parents just don't understand that yeah. you forgot he's from West motherfucking Philly. Yeah, but so I had tweeted something that this is and where it gets confusing because that happened, and then I tweeted a bunch of stuff, and one of the tweets I tweeted was. Was yo? I wrote, "Thank God Kanye didn't slap Taylor Swift." That's what I wrote, and then there was a reply from a Taylor Swift account that said something about me being misogynistic because I said that. Because they, well, because I, I hoped I, I'm, I'm saying, thank God a man didn't slap a woman. That's misogynistic. Yeah, I don't get that. You're saying good. You're saying good that he didn't slap her. Did they they think they were taking it as like a little like you were being like, oh, he should have? Well, like sarcasm. I I, maybe. I I think that maybe they thought I was being sarcastic, but like obviously I was not saying that. Like I was like, I'm thinking of like the the other because some of the other stuff that they said was like, why are you even thinking about Taylor Swift? You're trying to stay relevant. Children love saying that, by the way. Yeah, why? First of all, you're Joe Santagato, king of YouTube. Okay. You are the, you are relevant. No. Uh, second <laughs> of all, not, no. if you're going to stay relevant, how are you going to do it with Taylor Swift? 
obviously an icon of the pop rock genre. Bro, also one of my favorite artists. Yeah, she's she doesn't get I think people are finally coming around to like stop bashing her about the whole like writing about her exes thing bro forget about that write about the exes I'm all about a breakup I, they make for good albums they, they make for they <clears> if you go on bangers. my Spotify and they because they do this thing like there's a site that tells you like your most listened to of all time and whatever she's in the top five really yeah like I love Taylor Swift damn you belong with me that's a heater At, to this day I still have it on my phone very good song you belong with me love story mean Fucking the whole 1987, I think the uh, 89, 89, Uh-oh. 1989. I don't know. I think if you Mag- get it wrong, they're going to come for you again. Well, regardless. So they were saying a bunch of stuff about like that. And uh, yeah, they were going after me and they were like, yo, you're a piece of shit. You're misogynistic. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. White men with podcasts making jokes about women getting hit. And I was like, I'm saying the opposite. Like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? It has been hitting a little close to home lately that people have been making the joke about like white men with podcasts because that's you. Uh, but to their to to your defense, you were the original white man with a podcast. Well, all right, that's heavy. But well, uh, 2014, not everyone had a podcast back I, then. I did get a pass. I did get a pass from from a, a woman. I would say the woman who is the one who like decides. Taylor Swift hit you up? No, bro. Oh, I don't know. No, there's this girl on uh, TikTok. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so I'm not gonna butcher it. But her name is Drew, and she makes these videos, basically like calling out all these dudes that have like. They say, like, just wild misogynistic shit on their podcast, and then she'll, like, stitch it and just, like, shit on them, and it's hilarious. Um, And one of the things that we had talked about on this show was when that dude was like, oh, when my wife gets pregnant, that that bitch needs to go in the gym or whatever. So, obviously, that's, like, fucking ridiculous. Real dumb. Real stupid. So, we talked about that, and then that clip went viral, and then she had commented on it, and it was, like basically gave us a pass of like these guys can keep their podcast all right and i was like all right cool wait she said that we can keep our podcast yeah yeah she's giving me equal amount of power and say in the situation <laughs> i think so i love that um but she uh, but yeah so um but yeah with the taylor swift thing like it was very confusing because i was literally just like and then people were like why are you even bringing that up and to me i was like that's, that's the th- only other time that i can remember someone storming the Bingo. stave on, yeah the stave the stage unhinged and like we don't know what the fuck is gonna happen. Like and P- and then people were like, he, like uh, people were saying like he didn't even have a reason to hit her. Why are you bringing this up? I was like, yeah, exactly. Like I, he didn't have a reason to be up there. Uh, like Exa- the exactly. Like the fact that he was in that situation to begin with was enough of a red fucking like right. red flag. You know what I mean? So and like he could have slapped her for all we know because we you know we didn't know what was going through his head. Someone actually said to me, she was like, if if anyone deserved to be slapped, it was Kanye. I'm like. Yeah, I'm not saying she just like I'm saying the opposite guy. Don't you love when these virtue signalers are just they have to say something in order to get in the fucking zeitgeist of being like I I'm saying the right thing. Hold on. When they're not reading what you're fucking saying did at all. Did you just say zeitgeist? Yeah, damn right I did, oh babe. My God, dude. <laughs> Am I on a show? When was the last Were time you, you heard forced to put that when in? When was here? the last time you yeah, was zeitgeist is it, it, honestly it's probably been like eight nine months since I heard that. Really? That's yeah. it? I would say I'd think it'd be longer from your reaction. Well, I heard it like eight nine months ago, and then before that it was years. I feel like I should write down code words every single episode and, and just slip them in, them in yeah. and then see if you can pick them out of each episode. Like mm-hmm. zeitgeist. Is one. Me and Greg do that on on uh, episodes of OPL that we aren't gonna post that are just like not going well. So we'll try to fit in a word and be like, just because it's like we're, Damn, we can't kind of, use what this. What kind of episodes have been posted? Give us the juicy deets, babe. No, it's it's just that like oh, when the you interview to- is like not going well or like you know it's just not. Yeah, it's not like, jiving. It's not yeah, gonna make or you the good. audio is terrible and it's like damn. So like. We're not just going to tell one, like, we're not going to use this, but we, like, kind of know, like, oh, man, this isn't, like, going the way we expected. It's not, like, going to fit well for the show. Mm-hmm. So then we'll, like, continue to do the episode, but we'll try to, like, be like, all right, we're going to fit, a, like, try to fit in, like... You don't a- think that the episode would fit well in the zeitgeist of OPL. Right. Yeah, all right. So the Swifties <laughs> almost got you. They almost took you off the block. Yeah, they, they were pissed. I actually saw an Instagram account that posted, a, like, made a thing, like, on Instagram of, like, a picture of Taylor Swift, and then my tweet was on top of it, and then a long fucking... Uh, what is it? What's in, the account? I want to oh, read it. Oh, I don't know. It was in like, like it was in a different in language. Brazilian. I, I, I like. You were gonna say Brazil. Brazilian. Yeah, that's, it, that's not a language. It's not at it's all. Portuguese. Oh yeah, it is. Um, but you know, I was in a different language. Oh, this is Chuchuco Joe Santagato. That's how they would say it. Yeah. Yeah. He dated a Brazilian, so I guess you could say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, absolutely. Uh, but <laughs> South yeah. Americans, we all hate each other. But yeah, for anyone out there that's a fan of Taylor Swift, hey, me too. Was not hoping she got. Damn, slapped. you're trying to me too her also. No, God. dude. Damn, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm a fan. And I, you know, I, I was glad that like in the moment that I could think of in the time, that was the other moment where someone stormed the stage that Taylor Swift didn't get slapped in the face. Well, yes, thank fucking God. We're not neither. That's all I was saying. Yeah, but and obviously if people would have fucking read, if, if, forget about just reading the tweet. It's also people who need to know something about you. Like, you're not, like, this fucking incel that's going to be sitting here and it's just like, you know who deserved a slap in the teeth? Fucking Taylor Swift. Any woman ever. Yeah, it's like, they, people put no fucking effort into it and they have to just make sure they say something to show that they're on the right side of things yeah. without any fucking context or, or understanding of what's being said. Yeah, man. And honestly, I think there is an epidemic of men with podcasts that, for some reason, like, they're all also, like, I feel like from the ages of 20 to 25... Which I would say when I've lived through that period, I can understand feeling like you know stuff. But from 25 to 30, where I am now, you realize, guys, literally there's just some things that just come with experience and, and just like yeah. life, yeah. you know? Yeah. Basically what I'm trying to say is that you're, most of you are idiots like, and you don't know what's happening. Either. I think anyone can have a podcast after the age of 25. I think before then. Well, I, I'm cool. Bro, you, can you imagine? Serious, for a second. I had one, so go ahead. No, 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 no. I'm saying if we were fucking 15 and we had a podcast, well, could you, you fucking imagine the shit that we would have said? So it's 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 like a fine having a podcast when 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 guys specifically, and I don't know why this is the case, but guys specifically talk about like just definitively talk about how women are. It's like one. You're like one year removed from college. You don't know. Yeah, what do you know, women dude? What do as you know? A whole. Yeah. Also, point. No one does. Point to point to where the vagina is, and then I'll listen to you. Yeah, dude. Show me where the click. Cl show me. Oh, you. <laughs> show me where that clip clop is. <laughs> there, there was an episode of uh, Arrested Development. I know you said you haven't watched it, but uh, George Michael is like with his girlfriend, and they're trying to like become. Uh, he's running for class president, and she's saying that like they they have their uncle Tobias, who is the guy that wears like the shorts, David Cross's character, and they're like trying to use like a like a sexy campaign or like sex like sells slogan for George Michael running for uh, class president, and he's like, and they're, they're like, oh, we're not afraid, we're not afraid of sex. And he's like, oh, you're not afraid of sex? Have sex with this woman right here. <laughs> have sex right now. Go ahead, do some sex. <laughs> it's so stupid, but it's so true. No, I I mean like. I don't know, man. Like, I, it's just so weird that people talk definitively, of, uh, definitively about like, uh, like women or the, and like in a negative connotation. Like, it's never like positive stuff. It's always like they're making these claims about women, and like, it's one thing to think that, but to broadcast that is very strange to me because it's like, isn't as straight men the object to like court women? And to like attract them, w what do you think is being done in that regard by I don't putting know. them down and saying like this is what they do? They all are the same and this and that. It's like bro, like there's so bro, there's so many things. I, I saw a guy one time who was like, and yo, honestly, this is actually hilarious. But there was a guy, and this guy's in his thirties, and he's like, I don't think that women should have an Instagram account. Uh, if they're in a relationship because that's cheating because attention is like uh, currency for women and and then he says and then he says this and then he goes <laughs> he goes especially if she has scant scantily clad photos he said scantily her, clad he said take it off. Scantily, scantily clad, clad. just take it off what? How, take it easy ben franklin what yeah, are you talking no, about no, scantily no. clad this was some mi6 like he was wearing a fucking like a skin suit, and it's actually a ninety-year-old man in that. Bro, under that scantily skin. clad, he said. Scantily clad women. That's that's. I, Grandpa. Yeah, that's pretty put it bad. down. That's pretty bad. Uh, Yo, I, that's horrible. I feel like the podcast medium is like come full circle, where like us as a society have become so progressive with our thoughts and opinions that like the podcast medium has just become a hub of people trying to be contrarian to that whole yes, movement. Yes, exactly. That's where it's like they hide behind the fact that it's like. You know, and, and I'm not knocking Joe Rogan. He has made quite the living for himself doing what he does. And my understanding, Joe Rogan's opinions tend to be more progressive than they are anything else. But, like, people see that Joe Rogan goes on there and says whatever the hell he wants behind his $60 million deal with Spotify. And You're missing about $40 million. Oh, $100 million? Yeah. Goddamn. And, uh, like, they think, like, Joe Rogan can go out there and say what he wants without being afraid of being canceled. I can, too. And it's like... Hey man, no, no, you fucking can't. 
because you're an idiot and uh, you just shut up. You yeah. know, so that, that's what the whole podcast medium is. And I think that's why, and I don't mean to you know, break my arm patting ourselves on the back here, but I think that we don't come on here with any sort of like, you know, agenda to try to push our opinions on anyone. And we just kind of just say what we, what we feel. And that's, that's why we're so great, particularly me. You know, and I why I've been such a like incredibly valuable asset to this show. Possibly, I would say like uh, twenty five to thirty five percent value of an increase uh, in the in the asset. Like you know, to this show, you're just gonna keep letting me talk, and you're not even gonna allow, allow yourself to interject at any point here. What do you want me to say? Oh, you didn't. Did you hear anything I said? Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Handshake. <laughs> <laughs> I actually. Um, there's something you okay? Yeah, sorry. There's something that I forgot to tell you about that I had for this week that I wanted to bring up to you, and I'll I'll ask you if you oh, want to no. do it. I'll ask you if I want if you want to do it. Oh. And if you don't, we can do it never or another week. But okay. I found an old rap of mine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not without hearing it. I can tell you. I remember. I know that it's probably fine. Yeah, but it's not about that. It's just. It's just. No, no, no. It's not a song. I remember the words in my head, so I can repeat it. It's not like anyone else is on it. Why do you... Because I just... I was playing... Wait, hold on. You were just <laughs> living your life, and all of a sudden you're like, I just got a 16 in my head from, yeah, when, I, from yeah. when I was 16. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remembered it in my head. And I, and I remember pseudo-performing it for someone. What does pseudo-performing <laughs> mean? So me... You and somebody else. This is in your head. No, no, no. Oh. In real life. Okay. We're in, uh, I think, like 11th grade or, 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 or senior year, junior year or senior year of high school. And there was a girl that I had met that I lied to about my age. And, okay. and uh, me, you, and someone else hung out with her and her friend at the park. And we were like, yeah, we write raps. What? <laughs> Wait, who was it? I'm not. I'm not giving names. Not even a first. No. A, 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 like a hint, something. I need something. Um. Uh, uh. Uh. I don't know how to give you a hint. Text it. Text it. I'm to gonna me. text it to you right now. Oh my god! I need to know who this is. Uh, Wait. And you said we write raps. I was like, yeah. We. You know. We. We spit some bars. Because yeah. we were spitting bars at the time. Of yeah. And um. You know. Uh. Oh my god! I need to know what this is. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's who I thought it was. Okay, good. But then you said hung out at the park, and I was like, what? Yeah, uh, we, we hung out at the park, and okay. I, I remember I, she was like, all right, like, spit some spit shit. something real quick. And you spit? And I spit. So I want you to give me an honest rating of my of my verse. You're, you're going to do it. I'm going to go line by line, okay? You're, you're going to spit. I'm going to spit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'll give you, the, you know, each, like, the two bars, you know? Okay. Uh, by the way, how do we count bars? Not on this show. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, you can't see me. You're just not in my division, whether it comes to the spitting, the freestyle, or written. Not bad. That right there, not bad. One more question. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? One more time. Go okay. Ahead. No, no, no. Different. Go forward. Go, okay. Oh, you, you want me to keep going? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll start again. You can't see me. You're just not in my division, whether it comes to spitting, the freestyle, or written. Mm -hmm. I'm burning up like the oven in your kitchen, and I'll slice you and dice you just like I'm Freddy Krueger killing. Okay. <laughs> now, now, the only thing that I can think of right now is like, how old did this girl think you were? 20. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said that! 20. Wait, how old were we? Like 17. Okay. Now, we're at the park. Mm-hmm. And it was at night. We're in the night park. We're in the, <laughs> we're in the night park. We're in the night park. And sitting at those old chess tables. You know which ones I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think like old men died at that chess yeah, table. definitely did. If not there, the bocce bar, <laughs> the ball bocce, court. Yeah, Italian men died there. Um, so you're sitting at a concrete chess table. There's five of us. Me, you, another friend of ours. All of these people are remaining nameless because I don't know what kind of damage it'll do if I... Yeah, that girl. That girl, and then one of her friends. Right. Uh, who I think our other friend was trying to court. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. of us appropriate, appropriately clad. Yes, no one's no, scantily no clad. No scant. 
<laughs> I don't even know what <laughs> what is uh, what is clad. I, I, think, I know what it is. I think it's like the like like garnished. You know, like like ro- robed, like a salad dressed, <laughs> garnished. Yeah, like an appropriately clad salad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right amount of dressing and croutons and shit. This salad is properly clad. <laughs> This is one scantily clad salad. Scantily clad. Where the hell? Where the hell's all the where, dressing? Where's all this dressing? <laughs> a salad with no dressing. The salad is scantily, scantily clad. clad. Get this out of my face. Yeah, disgusting. Um, okay. What? Okay. I just wanted to set the setting, but okay. Is there more? Yes, there is more. Oh. Um. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll slice you and dice you. Just like a Freddy Krueger Freddy Krueger killing. killing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anything I do, I do it for the girlies. Oh, because when I bag these women, I go perfect like Burley. That's Mark Burley, Chicago White Sox pitcher. Threw a perfect game that year, I think. Wow. Okay, that's pretty good. This is the best part. I was like, Burley, I'm like... Yeah, yeah, this is the best part. Oh. Uh, (laughs) All right, again, years ago, guys. I'm a happily married man now. Oh, my God. Children. This is going to be good. (laughs) Go ahead. Bring them back to the crib in 10 minutes they kneel in. Face down, screaming with their ass to the ceiling. <laughs> Seventeen-year-old Frank, what's up? Ten by the minutes. Way, by the way, that wouldn't happen in ever. <laughs> First of all, ten minutes. <laughs> I like. I like to think. You know what's funny about that? Like you think rappers is like oh like, right away, right away, sight. automatic. Yeah. You got a ten minute window. It's like ten it still takes me ten minutes, it's but got, that's pretty good. <laughs> like it's a fake scenario where you're trying to make it. Seem I like, I talk to them a little bit about their day. Yeah, you know, I get you know a glass how's of water. everything going. You want some water? Exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah. set the mood a little bit. And then we ten get minutes, see. face down, screaming with their ass to the ceiling. A- ass to the ceiling. Yeah. Well, no, excuse me. In ten minutes, they kneel in blowjobs, <laughs> <laughs> ass to the ceiling, face down, screaming. Yeah, with their ass to the ceiling. Right, which is uh, face down, ass up. Yeah, it could be a, could popular, be sex. a very popular. I would hope it's sex. What else would it be? <laughs> I mean, it could be vaginal or anal sex. Oh well, that was not specified. Well, the screaming, I would, you know. Yeah, well, we didn't. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, I tiger wood these beats. I give them numbers, then I fuck them. Wait, hold on. You Tiger with these beats, you give them numbers, and then you fuck them? Fuck them. What does Tiger Woods do that's that? You know, remember when he got in trouble because he had, like, numbered mistresses? Like, oh. number six. Oh. Number eight. So, you know. I might be actually very specifically pinpointing when this happened. <laughs> Mark, Mark Burley. Burley. <laughs> Tiger Woods. <laughs> there's another. Uh, there's another. Um, mm mm-hmm. Uh, line here that, that might help narrow it down too. Oh, cool. So I tiger with these beats. I give them numbers, then I fuck them. Yeah. Stay committed to the game. All these tracks, I love them. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Just stay committed. Yeah. Sly is a motherfucker. Oh. Smooth like Neo. Like Neo. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth like Neo. Yeah. Yeah. Bald, so sick Neo. Okay, careful. He might be bald. He's pretty smooth, okay? <laughs> I mean, you know, no, no, no. Pretty smooth. Was smooth. What is he now? Uh, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him either. What was the last thing Neo did? Uh, I saw a video of him playing basketball with Chris Brown. That's the last Yikes. thing. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, that was like 10 years ago. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, smooth like Neo. Yeah. No hood rats. I drop all the pops like Castillo. Luis, not Luis Castillo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dropping the baseman? pop fly yeah. against the Yankees. A-Rod came around and scored. Bro. <laughs> I, I figured is, out when I wrote this. <laughs> What's What year was that? I, I don't know. I'm thinking like 2007, 2008. <laughs> maybe, maybe look it up. <laughs> Specify perfect game by uh, Mark Burley. That'll help. Luis, Luis Castillo drop. 2009. Bro. Oh, yikes. Yeah, 2009. How old were we? Uh... 16, I 16 think. or 17. Yeah. yeah. 17, 17. Wow. Well, I mean, you were 17 in February, but I, I think it was like early on in the year. I could be wrong, but. Dude, that's unbelievable. <laughs> that was the whole thing? Um, no. Pops like Castillo. Yeah. I'll ease down a bit and let this shit just settle. Mm-hmm. Fired up enough to pop a couple kettle, a couple kettles. Yeah. You toy ass losers to the hood, you are strangers. Oh my god, toy. I forgot that was a thing. You're <laughs> mad toy. I've, ch- 
<laughs> I've changed the game since the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You just had to sneak in the fucking Power Rangers, dude. He just had to. I've been dealing with this my whole life, clearly. This was it. He was 16, rapping about fucking bitches or whatever, and he had to put in the Power Rangers. Uh, 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 and uh, now uh, he's 30, uh, 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 and he's buying Megazords. <laughs> It doesn't end. I wasn't fucking anyone. I had them 10 minutes kneeling. 10 minutes in, and their ass was screaming towards the ceiling or whatever the fuck. <laughs> My asshole is screaming right now. Oh, God. Um, what was the last line I said? Uh, oh, I changed the game since the Mighty Morphin Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. Yeah. That's it. I think that's it. I have to like do it in my head again. And so you did this whole thing for her, and then what did she say? Did I, she go, that's tight? She went, like, <laughs> what did they say back in 2009? Like, saucy. No. <laughs> Saucy, no one said that. The tiger would these be thinking of no. So high as a motherfucker, smooth like Neo. No hood rats, I drop all the pops like Castillo. That's kind of not bad, dude. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's it could be, it could have been worse, but it's just funny to imagine you being 16. And also wrapping this in the park to a girl. Yeah, no, that that's all I remember at this point. Oh, okay. But I was playing video games, and that came to me, and I was like, wow. I you remembered like, it. Yeah. I, I was like, yo, like, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> like, God, that sucks, dude. That sucks, because who the fuck uh, stay committed to the game? Wh what game? The, the game. The, right? What game? The game. Uh, there was no game. I mean, it's the, the game of, of and I didn't, rap. Let me tell you this. Didn't murder beats. Mm, well, no, you don't. You don't. You didn't say you murdered them. You 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 number them and fuck them. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay. <laughs> which, which clearly you were doing. <laughs> they were numbered and fucked. <laughs> they were numbered appropriately fucked. Appropriately fucked. <laughs> uh, but yeah, That's I remember amazing. that, and I, I had to had to had to bring that. So and she was like, "Damn, that was I." She was like, "What?" I forgot what people said in two thousand nine. Uh, I don't know. What saucy was like? We're gonna drink. You know, like we're yeah, gonna get, get sauced. sauced or smacked. Smack, zooted, zooted, yeah, yeah zooted. Yeah. Um, so she was probably something like, "Yo, like that's, yeah, yeah. that's height, yeah, that's height, that's height." <laughs> and uh, it didn't work. I don't think she was very interested in me after that day. Did you ever hook up with that girl? No. Mm. I do remember meeting them and lying to them immediately. I do remember that. Yes. Yeah. We were well, big, we were underage in a bar, and I, right? Well, I met her because um, it was the night of like. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. I met her because it was a night of uh, Floyd Mayweather boxing. Uh, what the? Was it, was it Sugar Shane Mosley? Okay. We watched it at one of our Impies. friends' place. Yes. She was there? No. No. We left, and I was dared to go steal a uh, porn magazine, which I did. <laughs> and then I went into Dip, like Dipmar Station, the bar, by myself. And she was there, and I just started talking to her. And she was like, how old are you? I was like, I'm only 20. I was a, a lot younger Yeah, than you that. were. Yeah. I do remember that. I remember at one point, it was me and you, and then her and her friend. And at that point, I wasn't privy to the lie yet. Yeah, and so you were like, I gotta, go, I gotta go study for my PSAT. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she had mentioned something about you being twenty, and then that's when it hit me, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. You're in on the scam. I was like, well, we're here, and where are we gonna go? Like, you know, like, and at that point, oh, I was like, let's find, let's find out what else we have. That's a, that's a real friend of you. That's an absolute real friend of you. Thank you for not blowing my cover. Hey, we, you know, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna do that. I remember. Too. I believe the cover was blown because one of her friends, like, knew. Is this, she like knew your sister. She like directly. knew my sister and her friends, and came to one of our house parties, and like we all like hid in the basement. And I was like, well, and like there was like pictures of me on the wall, and it said like 2008. Like, congrats, <laughs> congrats from fucking tenth grade. You're just like, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that was the end of that scam. Yeah, you're not Angel Rivera. Or whatever. Damn, that's right. Was Angel, that, that was my uh, my fake ID. Angel Rivera. Angel Rivera was found on the counter of a deli, and people had fake IDs that said they were 21. Mine yeah. said I was 28. I, I had used Thomas's, so I was, I think his said he was Thomas like 27. is six years older than you, right? Eight. Oh, wow. I think. Wait, no, that might be He's 86. Right. 84. Oh, so eight. Yeah. yeah, yeah wow, yeah. wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I was. Uh, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I was a, a, a fucking 19-year-old walking around with a 28-year-old's ID. I, I remember we went to McCann's and it got stolen. Bouncer oh. took it. 
And that was, I had used it millions of times before then with no yeah. issues. And it was like, it was the year I was going to turn 21 that that happened. I remember. Because I remember I tried to take, uh, Nick said he would give me his ID. And I was like, I'm just going to just write it out until I think July. you like called your sister and like, can you get my ID back? And, and then she, like, you didn't. It was a big Asian bouncer too. And he was like, bro, this isn't you. It's like, yeah. And I was like, yo, you can't take my ID. He's like, all right, call the cops. I was like. I will. Good move. I will. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Smart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's get to these first ads here. You should. You might as well. Then we'll pop into something else. The first one being Liquid IV. If you guys want to stay hydrated and also protect yourself in your immune system and bolster it with that, Liquid IV has got you covered because they have these little packets. You put them in a glass of water and it helps you. It's got CTT, which is cellular transport technology or something like that. And it... Uh, it hydrates you quicker than water does. Three times faster, actually. And three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks and contains five essential item, uh, vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. I know you guys don't even know what the hell it is. No one does except scientists, but I'm telling you these are all good things for you. Um, but they're great. And also they are charitable. They're on a mission to change the world. They have donated over 20 million servings globally. I have a ton of it. I give it away all the time, and I just have, still have a ton of liquid IV. It's amazing. I have them all the time. And I have to say, we recently got back from a bachelor party, and Everyone let me it. tell you right now, liquid IV basically saved and kept us hydrated that entire yeah. trip. So it's, I cannot speak. We had the lemon lime, and boy, oh boy, let me tell you something. Some of these drinks that you get sometimes, they don't taste delicious while they're doing good stuff for you. Liquid IV, got both of that for you, baby. Amazing. And also, you can grab liquid IV in bulk at Nationwide at Costco, or which is where I suggest you do, uh, you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BASEMENT at checkout. 25% off. That's pretty good. That's a quarter. Uh, that's a quarter, guys. 25% uh, off anything you order when you use the promo code BASEMENT at liquidiv.com. All right, go. Go get it. Trust me. Try it. It's amazing. Uh, I swear by it. Everyone I know loves it as well. Uh, next here, <clears throat> summer's coming up. We got FitBot, baby. FitBot, uh, it's, it's a... A program, it's a workout program, all right? Frankie does FitBot, uh, and they use an algorithm to um, make sure that you are getting your gains properly, okay? Because what a lot of people do is they find, <laughs> he's got the app open right now. <laughs> Frankie's got the app open right now. Um, but you can access your personalized routine on an easy-to-use mobile app that you just saw, uh, and you can start making progress on your goals whenever you like. It's 24-7 uh, access to a personal trainer, basically. They have videos of how to do certain things, and also they use, like I said, their algorithm to make sure you're building off of your last workout, okay? And it's, if you just follow any old program, it's not the optimal way to gain muscle or do whatever you want. Also, what do you want to do? You want to gain muscle? You want to lose weight? You want to do, what do you want to do? And they will help you do that in any way possible. And it's great because you don't even need weights. If you want to do body weight stuff, they also have a program for that. It also integrates with your Apple Watch or Strava or Apple Health or Fitbit, whatever. It's great. Um, get 25% off your subscription or try out the app for free when you sign up at fitbod.me slash basement. That is 25, another quarter, uh, percent off your subscription when you sign up today at fitbod.me slash basement. Go get to it, folks. All right? Uh, and... Well, now we can move forward a little bit. No, we can. Uh, yeah, but you ha were starting to tell me something about an interesting story about um, <clears throat> something that I think we all kind of were guessing would happen, but there was some uh, confirmation, I guess, from someone. You said some Republican, uh, about a Republican orgy. Yes, yes. So uh, You say the words Republican orgy, it, I'm listening. You're just, you saw, I had you at Republican orgy. You did. You know, Tom Cruise, or what was it, Renee Zellweger had Tom Cruise at Hello?, or she had he had heard hello. Oh, I what is it? Where it's like you had me at hello. Oh, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> well, but I, I think it's Scientology when you say Tom Cruise. Oh, uh oh. And they have you before you say. <laughs> they have you as soon as you look their way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, no, but uh, there was a um, Republican senator, I believe, or a member of Congress. I don't know. They're the same to me. Someone who wears suits. Yeah, uh, and uh, you know believes uh, that there are two genders. Uh, and so he came out and said that he was. Uh, invited to a an orgy of Republican senators where they were just fucking doing lines of coke and just doing big old gangbang sex with, with with like hookers. I assume with with cre women of the night. I almost said creatures of the night though. Uh oh, Dude, yeah. take it easy. <laughs> the Swifties are coming for me now. Yeah, so women of the night. Women of the night. They were uh, 
and uh, that was the part that got me. It was like, because not only was he invited, he fucking went. Because he was like, oh, yeah, they were doing coke at this party and stuff like that. And I was like, whoa, 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 hold on. If, if any of these, like, Mitch McConnell, Lindsey Graham-looking motherfuckers come up to me and say, hey, listen up, orgy tonight at our place, I'm going to say, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm not trying to see Lindsey Graham's peace. I'm going to tell everyone that I know about the fact that I was invited, but, but he went. Yeah, I, I, I pulled up an article right now, and it says that uh, he's getting some backlash because he says, it's actually kind of interesting because you would think that someone wouldn't out their own party and be like, yo, guys are fucking banging hooks. and All I'm going to say is, oh, he's in a wheelchair. Yeah, that's the craziest part. Dude, wheelchair or orgy? That's kind of fire. Not a lot of room, you got to assume, though. I mean, I'm, I think he'll make do. Uh, <laughs> wait, what the... Oh, never mind. Madison this Cawthorn is- was his name. And um, I'm just... The part that, that gets me is, like, we always hear these stories about these Republicans, and we're like, oh, my God, we hate them so much. Or, like, polit- politicians in, in particular. Let's not just narrow it down to Republicans. But, like, for a second, Joe... If you heard that a local congressman was just having just big old gangbangs in his place and just partying it up, wouldn't it kind of make you want to vote for him more? Um, make him a little more cool? I think <laughs> politicians need to be cooler. I agree. And outwardly cool. And one of the ways to do that... <laughs> Dude, if you're going to bang hooks and do cokes... Do it and be cool about and it. And just be like... It was my birthday, dude. <laughs> like, just say that. And I'd be like, yo, listen. Listen, you know, like... If, it was his birthday. If they were just like, listen, like... If it's in your birthday month, you should be able to do that. If... It, if uh, listen. <laughs> if if when Clinton had been, you know, outed, basically, for everything going on with Lewinsky, if he had just come out and he had just gone, Vegas, we would all be like... Yeah, all know. right. Okay. I mean, there's other undertones there that are, you know, in the yeah, power thing. Yeah, none of this fucking kid shit... I, oh, know, well, yeah, no, that's that, a problem. That, that, you know, we're, we're all... If Epstein came out and he was just like, Mardi Gras, man, yeah, we'd be, be like, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's like, not you, though. No, don't, don't. Not you, bro. <laughs> None of your friends. You're, you're not allowed to come in here and make that joke. No, no, no. no. Uh, but, yeah, wouldn't that make them, like, if they were just, like, honest? Because I think that's one of the issues that people have with politicians is that they try to live a normal life behind closed doors, and, like, they're, like, outwardly, they're these fucking prim and proper, you know, uh, fucking robots that no one can relate to. And it's like, dude, if you just kind of just showed us that you're a real person every now and then, maybe we wouldn't be so upset when you get in trouble for banging 800 people in a bedroom. Yeah. Like, I'm assuming they're, like, having, like, stacked sex, meaning, like, multiple people stacked up and then having sex with them. Is that a thing? I I just, yeah, it is. Is it? <laughs> Stack say is like it's like so, lunchable sex. He goes, and and this is not something that is news to anybody. Come on, don't be naive. But he said that uh, the sexual perversion that goes on in Washington. I mean, being kind of a young guy in Washington, average age is probably sixty or seventy. I look at a lot of these people. A lot of them I've looked up to my uh, through my life. I've always paid attention to politics. Then all of a sudden you get invited to, oh hey, we're going to have a sexual get together at one of our homes. You should come. Um, Damn, sexual get together? <clears throat> I've never heard that. Were there any scantily clad people there? I would assume everyone was scantily clad. There was no clad. Zero clad. <laughs> there was, yeah. There Just was scant. <laughs> absently <laughs> clad people. <laughs> um,. And then he's like, what did you just ask me to come to? And then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. The Repu- Republican lawmaker also said that some of the people who are leading the movement to try and remove addiction in our county have just done a key bump of cocaine right in front of me. I mean, that's the world, baby. That's the world. Bro, <clears throat> sometimes you got to sniff a little yay. <laughs> Not me, but... There's you know. 2009, Joe. I yeah. knew he would come out. <laughs> Sniff a little yay. <laughs> Sniff a little yay, yo. A little white. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I mean, this doesn't surprise us in the, like, in the slightest, but the part that gets me is that they think that us knowing this stuff would make us not like them more when the I reality ass- is I like... I assume all of this already. Bro, Trump was out there getting spanked, allegedly, spanked with his own fucking magazine, and oh, people yeah. were like, yo, that is my president. Yeah. And it's like... People, people, like, tr- stop trying to be, like, these prim and proper, you know, robots. I assume... Break any- down a little bit. Anyone who has any, like, if you're the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, or if you're a very high-up politician, I assume that you are hiring hooks to put K-12 
candles in your ass and like burn you and stuff. You Bro, know it's I mean? some eyes wide shut shit. Like yeah, it's like, definitely happening. You, you go up to the penthouse of like the MetLife building and like everyone's getting blown and they're all seventy. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that. No, that's what I, th- I don't. Know. I don't think. I think it's just like. Just dead bodies up there. I think that's probably where they store. Who's gonna go no. up there and look, dude? No. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, who's gonna go? Let me go. Let me haul my ass up to the top of the MetLife building it's and like look the, for people. The commissioner of the the NYPD is just like fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like there could be stuff. The Swifties got you first. Don't you dare go after the police. You I'm not going after the police. They will fuck you no, up, no, dude. No, 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 no. I'm not. They're going gonna to get you. No, but you're you're right. Like I'm saying, these people though, you know, like or like the DA's office. Like there's someone in there who's probably fucking. Bro, if hooks. you don't think that this is happening in every large organization, every Fortune 500 company, I'm pretty sure. Like up until like 2005, they had like a line item. A, what? A line item. On their expenses, that was probably just for big old orgies. Yeah, and like, just celebrate it, babe. Just for O jobs. Just for, what was that? O jobs. Oh, okay, I don't want to know what it is. It's an orgy job. Oh, I was gonna say oral job. Oh no, that's just a beach. <laughs> <laughs> too many acronyms. There's a lot. But I will say this. Say it. I'm already under the assumption that politicians are freaks. Right? Yeah, absolutely. We all are. Scantily clad. Yeah, yeah we Scantily all are. Scantily clad freak. We're all freaks, just no matter what we're freaks for. And honestly, freak it up. Go nuts. I, I think you should freak. I think everyone should be allowed to freak. But the one big negative I see from this, bro, you're snitching? <laughs> What the hell? You're, you're sexual snitching? That's foul. That's a new kid on the block, man. He's trying to out everyone. You're just being like, yo, this old guy who's like doing good stuff, guess what? Likes to get sucked by hooks. I mean, Bro, listen, let the man get sucked by a hook. You could also probably draw the line at, uh, 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 at dat, you know, and the use of dat. But agree. If this guy wants to have a word, I don't think there's anything against the law. To orgy. To orge. Well, Orge it up. Well, I, well, the, but the, the pay, the payment is the problem. Yeah, the hooks. Yeah. But if you're just like, yo, me and Joey, like, well, but wait, wait, what are you talking about me and you, you <laughs> or me and him? You, you and him. Who's him? Exactly. Him? Or yes. Just him. <laughs> not the big, him. the big H. No, no, not, not capital. You having H. a jo- you're, oh, no, <laughs> a Joe or a Georgie <laughs> with a big old guy upstairs? No, no, no that can't happen. Uh, and no, but like. I don't think there's anything wrong with just like sex. What do they call them? Um, key parties. Bro, they were having key parties oh, yeah. all the time. They were doing it in the Grinch, dog. People were having key parties all over the place. I never realized that. Bro, they're having key parties in the Grinch. So if you guys don't know that scene in the Grinch, the one with Jim Carrey, like everyone's throwing their keys in the bowl, they want you to believe that it's like, oh, because no one's going to drive. But really what it is. Oh, they're going to drive each other's butts into the ground, yeah, dude. Yeah, they're going to drive their fucking penises in each other's <laughs> mouths. Because what happens is you take the keys and you swish them around. You pull the keys out. Whoever keys you have, you're going home with them and you're fucking the brains. I went to a somewhat themed party like that. No you sex. To, you went to a swingers party? No, 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 no. It was uh, an event in college, and the men wore ties. Yeah. And you put your tie into something, and the people pick a tie out, and that's who you learn how to ballroom dance with. That's your ballroom dancing partner. So I went to... That's what they're calling it. Th- no, it was. It was ballroom dancing. Like, I'll show you a ballroom. It was legitimately ballroom dancing, but... Oh, uh, dude, it was sick college experience. <laughs> ballroom dancing. Fuck, where are you going Friday? <laughs> ballroom the quad dancing. To two-step. <laughs> uh... Yeah, man. I, I just, just why, why are you outing these people? If they like a little orgy, let them go in orgy. If there's, if there's like, like under it, like we're talking about, like Jeffrey Epstein. If shit, it's illegal, then we, we, we go to, we show up, boom, boom, bow, we the, kill everyone. If there is any exchange of goods, a quid pro quo, a this for that, yeah, then we got a fat old problem. I'm cool with people doing drugs and banging hooks. Well, no, hooks implies that there is an exchange of goods. That's a league, babe. Yeah, but I'm okay with that. If it's just like, yo, you and your best friends all... Like, yo, if us and all of our best friends decided we're just going to do an orgy, nothing illegal with that. Well, yeah. No, no, no. No, orgies are... are, are cool! Yeah! I guess. Well, yeah, I'm not an orgy guy. I'm not an orgy guy either, but, but like, like you know. I'm allowing other people to be orgy yeah, guys. Yeah, well, for sure. I'm, <laughs> I'm cool with it. Do, you, do your thing. I might not even, me. I might even show up. That'd be too much would you, for would me. You, would you ever go to a sex party where you wear a mask and you just like show no. up and people are fucking? No, 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 Dude, no. Dude, I would definitely go. No. And what? do what? Just like chill. Just watch. No, you'd have to be there to fuck. No, you. first of all, you don't know the rules. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> I don't, but I've seen Bruno and I think I understand how sex party works. Yeah, let's base that off of that. 
All I'm saying is this. If there was a party where I can show up and I'm wearing one of those, like, you know, masks that cover, like, half my face and there's feathers and shit. And, and I'm it's wearing like a big in the Mardi Gras. And Back I'm, to Mardi Gras. I'm wearing a suit, right? And I show up and then there's people getting blown on the couch and I can just sit there with a Moscow mule and be like, this is fire. And then leave and go home and not fucking. Nah, I, I would feel uncomfortable. I don't know why. I would too, but it would bro, be a like, story. Babe. I feel like I would be in, like, a quarantine zone. Like, there's shit in the air and stuff that I shouldn't be breathing in unless I'm a nah, part nah, of it. Would, it's like coal miners. I, I don't need know. to be in a coal mine unless I'm doing the mining, you know? If anyone runs a sex party, like a like a real one, not one in like fucking Omaha or something. Well, they had one in Astoria that got, that got raided, remember? That's true. They did. That it, was a swingers part. That was a swingers bar and there's too much pressure there. Why? Because then you got to bring a partner and you uh, got to like, do so the So you want to go very, I just wanna, I just very misogynistic of you, Joe. You don't want to... No, I just want to view. I just want to view. I just want to watch. You just want to watch? I don't want to watch. I would watch. I'm sure, a first of all, I'm sure there's going to be multiple people hitting you up after this saying like, hey... <laughs> Yeah, no. We have Zoom. What are you doing Tuesday oh, night? Oh, I don't want to do that. You don't want to watch on Zoom? No, 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 no. no. You're going to get an offer or two. I want to go somewhere where there's a bartender and, like, this is all happening, but it's like, okay. Bro, if, all right, you're going to tell me. All right, here we go. <laughs> if there's a bartender, you're going to tell me. There. If I'm like, yo, I'll send you, a, a, like, a fucking care package of drinks and just join the Zoom link at 8 p.m. and you'll be able to see whatever happens. What kind of drinks? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't do a that. Bottle, like, a little uh, bit of everything. A bottle of wine, a bottle of whiskey, okay. a, a couple beers. Let's just be clear here. I don't have a kink, nor do I have an interest in watching other people have sex in person. What I am saying, though, is that if there was like an event where that would happen, like I would go because it's a funny story. <laughs> like It would make for a great podcast. So why don't you go? Because that's I'm your, not tapped in, that's dude. Your, that's your homework. For the next episode, babe. Well, clearly, I, you know what? This is, in order to make this happen, I have to then become a Republican congressman and get invited. That'd be a cool uh, one. You're white and you're wealthy. You're already on your way, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> you're already halfway there, if not more. No, I mean, no. I would go and, like, experience what's going on. Bro, I'm letting you know right now. I wouldn't now, be able to have, like, I'm letting, I wouldn't be able to do You stuff. wouldn't be able to partake. Yeah, I can't. I, I wouldn't be able. I would be very uncomfortable in that situation. I would also like to go to one of those places, and this is this is actually kind of, I don't know why I started the sentence. Uh-oh, yes. Yes. I love when you back yourself into a corner. You know, I mean, you know those places that are like, <laughs> I actually don't know how I feel about this. But if you go to a place... You made a complete 180. You're like, <laughs> I, I would love to... Wait a sec. Because <laughs> yeah, then I started thinking about it. And I was like, I actually don't know if I would like this. But if you... You know how like there are some places where it's like... <laughs> the table is just like a naked woman. And you eat sushi off of them? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I, it's just I would be uncomfortable. It's an experience. I would be uncomfortable. <laughs> I would too, but it's funny. You're going to... You know what's funny? You're going to be there soon. Like, <laughs> I can imagine in like four or five weeks, you're like, Yo, I went to a restaurant. Michelin star. Ate a, ate a California roll off a nipple. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People are deaf. Bro, you are you don't realize how close you are to these things until... We live in New York City. If they're happening anywhere, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're happening right. here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or Vegas. The higher up in an elevator you go, the closer you get. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. The more inconspicuous the, the fucking door is to the place, the, yeah. you know, you're, 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 you're on your way. I, I did one time go to a restaurant and I felt like, eh, I feel like they're going to... Cart out Do a naked something. person. Yeah, like there, something's gonna happen in here. I watched a movie recently called Fresh, where uh, it, it, it's on Hulu. You should watch it. It's not a spoiler. It's in the trailers. But the guy cuts up women's body parts and sells the meat. Fire. For like thirty thousand dollars a steak, mm. and it'll be like, what are you, what's on the menu today? Like I'm tonight. Tonight I'm eating a twenty nine year old, uh, sweet swish swish Swedish <laughs> woman's boob. D cup, and like it's like cooked. Fire though. I Wait, mean, is that that's illegal? Yeah, oh, duh. Yeah, we snitch on that. Duh. We snitch on illegal stuff, but the illegal, the illegal stuff that we can we cannot snitch on is hooks and and and, and drugs. No, no, no. Not that I hooks. Listen. Hooks are illegal. As of right now, the writing of the law states that hooks are illegal. Sure, but I'm okay with that. Oh, so you're okay with illegality as long as, it, as you're benefiting from it? No, I'm not benefiting from it. You're gonna be you're gonna be cranking hooks all day. No, I've never hired hook. Oh, you never you never got the hook. No, no, never right. captain hooked. Uh, I've never done that, and I've also I don't do drugs, so that's another thing. But Yet. I'm okay with people. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not gonna get into drugs, uh, but I am okay with other people doing that. I'm not. It, besides, like insane, like opiates. I'm shit. not. Was that the, I'm taking a stand. Oh, I thought that was the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, and, and that's how I take a stand. One nation under God. 
for, for Republic for which it stands. I, I don't even remember the Pledge of Allegiance. Thing. Um, I pledge don't, allegiance. Don't, 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 okay. don't, don't. <laughs> you don't want me to. I, um, remember, I pledge allegiance. I remember how it goes. I, you can't I, see me. You're just not in my division. <laughs> Whether it comes to spitting the freestyle or written. Freddy Krueger killing. <laughs> Uh, real quick, let's get to these ads and then we'll move forward with the uh, uh, sex parties. Say something. I can't have to be the last word. Then. Okay. Uh, but guys, before we get to these next round of ads, make sure you go to patreon.com slash the basement yard. <laughs> Guess what? We did it. We got to 10,000. We got over 10,000 patrons. And as promised, our patrons, uh, I am begrudgingly saying this, are going to be getting a live view of me getting a Brazilian wax. Uh, some poor soul is going to have to wax and tear my body below the waist. Uh, so uh, thank you to all you guys that got us over 10,000. We want to obviously continue to strive to get over that. And we're trying to figure out what we're going to do for 11,000. Maybe Joey's going to go to a sex party and report back on it. We don't know. Uh, hey, I would do it. Oh. But I'm not going to bang anyone. Uh, no, 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 just watch. Yeah. Oh, I literally just said I would do that. 11,000 patrons? Wait, uh, you're, this is not like a... I'm asking you right now for 11,000 patrons. But either way, we'll come up with it. Go to patreon.com slash the basement yard. That first tier, you get these weekly episodes a week in advance. And that next tier up, you get exclusive episodes every single Friday where you can watch the basement yard at the beginning of the week and the end of the week. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. Okay, let's get to the ads before I get into that. Uh, <laughs> the one we have here is Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is like having your own personal stylist, all right? If you... Are if you're just very busy, you don't have a lot of time to shop or online shop or any of that, Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix has you covered. You go onto their site, you take their uh, style quiz, and you learn they can learn your preferences, so like your sizes and what kind of patterns you like, what kind of clothes you like. And once they know what generally you uh, you know you enjoy, uh, like colors and your fits and price ranges or whatever, they will pick things out for you on a monthly basis, and then you get to have new clothes. Uh, and you only have to, you know pay for what you keep also. Um, but it's great, uh, like I said, it also your style isn't one size fits all, like some things fit differently with other things, like maybe you like a looser fit, but your size, like you would wear a medium in one brand, large in another, they will help you with that sort of thing. Um, but it's great, it's, a, it's an awesome thing if you uh, want to have like new clothes and like get into fashion or whatever, this is how you do it. Uh, get started today by filling out your free style quiz at stitchfix.com slash basement and take the advantage of free shipping and returns. Uh, that's stitchfix.com slash basement to try it. Uh, stitchfix.com slash basement. So go check it out. Go get fresh with Stitch Fix. Uh, and lastly here we have Truebill. Truebill is the new app that's going to help you save money by canceling the subscriptions that you don't even know you're paying for. We all sign up for free trials and then we forget to cancel them or... We had this thing that we were using like a year ago that we don't even realize we're paying for still. That number adds up. And believe it or not, people are saving up to $720 a year by using Truebill um, because this is able to identify those subscriptions and the things um, that you are paying for that you don't want to pay for and you're able to cancel them through Truebill. Um, so it's saving a lot of people money and $720, that's a lot of money and that's just the average. So you could be saving thousands, honestly, depending on what kind of person you are. If you love free trials and you're forgetful, there's probably a lot of money that you're missing out on. Um, it has saved uh, 2 million users over $100 million. Okay, so that's a lot. Um, so yeah, go check them out. Uh, don't fall for the sub subscription scams. Start canceling today at truebill.com slash basement. Again, that is truebill.com slash basement. Like I said, could save you thousands of dollars every year. Um, so go check them out, guys. True Bill. Um, but yeah, as far as like the, the, the sex party thing, I, I'm shocked that you wouldn't like go to that. No, I, I don't have, I just, I feel very uncomfortable in that situation. It's not something I'd want to see. Um, it's we, it's we, I don't know how else to explain it. Like I'm not. It would be like when I went to the box, you know? That's different. Debauchery. That's, the, yeah, that's deba that debauchery. Different? Because you're like, well, I guess, yeah, no. If I knew someone was coming out and fucking throwing dildos in themselves, I don't think I'd want to be there for it either. Yeah, I saw a guy bang his ass with a dildo. No, yeah. definitely don't need that. Yeah, it, it was uh, it was an interesting experience. I also, when I first walked in, I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know anything about this place. And the, uh, there was a, a, a woman... Isn't it like $10,000 a ticket? No. To get in? I would say if you're going to go with a group of four, you're probably going to spend... Anywhere from five hundred to seven hundred dollars a person. Oh, I thought you said it was like like a ridiculous amount per person. That seems like a lot for a night, bro. But if you can go, if you can afford to go, that's nothing. I mean, that's a lot of money still. But yeah, no, it's not like a cheap thing. Like you're, 
It's a and lot then you have to drink when you're in there, and that's probably another fucking three hundred dollars. I believe the last time I looked, it was like two thousand dollars for a table of four, and that comes with like probably a bottle. But you're gonna drink more than that, so you're gonna spend more than that, Oof. and then like a tip or whatever. So it's like a, it's a lot of money. No, oh, no, you know? thank you, no, thank you. But it's a show, and it's like I mean, it sounds money. like it was a show. Yeah, it was. I just I I, I can't. I, I don't, saw a woman. It's like voyeurism. I don't think that's a, like cool. Well, I I'm not into that of like watching people like do whatever. But I do think it it is interesting to. It makes me feel like I'm living in like the gangs of New York times, where like they would just kill people in the street, and no one would even bat an eye, and then. These people are fucking and like it's just like psycho like it's psycho. So I, I don't know. It just felt funny. So for eleven thousand patrons, are you going to go to one of these places? Yeah, I will. I will go to the box. Without, but yeah, I will do that. Oh, for eleven thousand patrons, I will. Yeah, I will sleep there if I can. <laughs> like uh, whatever you want. I miss that place. Well, oh, you're you're too eager to go. All right, eleven thousand patrons. You go as a performer. At the box. Well, I don't think I, you get, probably there's tryouts that I would not make. I, can, <laughs> I would get cut. I can almost guarantee that if you said, I would like to be involved, they would say, come on up. Nah, I mean, I would, I would definitely go to that. But like, also, I, I know there is a, a, a thing that exists because I've seen it and it is like a sex party thing, but it's like, it's like a member, like you can only go if. You're invited by is, a member. Is it like that fucking like what's that hot, like rich person dating app? What? There's a rich person dating app that you need to get invited to for in New York, isn't there? J Day. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh, it's good. Uh, Raya, Raya. Okay, yeah. It's like that. Like you can only go if like someone vouches for you. Like they're cool. Like they're good. Um, I guess. Yeah, no, but this one, I, I remember it's like a member has to either invite or something like that. Bro, your DMs are going to be a wild place after this episode goes live. <laughs> yeah, I'm no. telling you right now. I don't want to go to your sex party. That's, that's you know. Bro, if but, J-Lo hit you up and was like, yo, you want to watch my sex party? Yeah. <laughs> you have like, I, yes. Who would say no to that? <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm throwing it. But like, she, it's like J-Lo and like the cast of Friends, the guys. Yeah, what? <laughs> Matthew Perry, <laughs> David Schwimmer. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. What's yeah. his name? Joey? Matt LeBlanc. Yeah. It's J-Lo just getting train run on her by the fucking friends at Central Perk. I would pay $2,000 to see that. <laughs> the fuck? That's like a memory that would last forever. All of these things are for the story. I uh, guess. Like, I it's, guess not, it's not like everything I'm, you do now is for the podcast. But, yeah. So <laughs> I, continue I'm not, to deny me a living wage. I don't have the. I don't have the, uh, like the desire to go to these things because it's like a turn on or because of anything other than like, it would just be funny to say that I've done that. Good. Or, fair. Like, it's a cool good, experience. Good, good. That's what I was hoping for. Because yeah, if yeah. you were like, like. Yo, like it's I'm like, actually, no, I'm horny for Like, if you were people. like, yo, to get off, you went to one of these things. No, then yeah, I would no. be a little concerned as, no, your, no, no. It's, as it, your friend. It's literally like, I'll go and, like, do whatever. and like, But you experience... Do whatever? No, like, like I'll experience these things, but if I, I'm not going to partake. You'll be there. I have no desire to, like, fuck in front of, like, a room full of random people. Yeah, no. Wearing I, bird masks. That, that, that like, <laughs> gives me anxiety thinking about that. Yeah, I mean, you got to, yeah. And also, I don't know, bro. Like, I just can't. No, that's a lot. Good for you. But we'll figure it out. 11,000? Okay, 11, so. 11, no, we're, we're back. 11,000 would be pretty nice. I'm getting my fucking asshole torn to shreds <laughs> for 10,000. You might as well go and enjoy a night out for 11. Jesus Christ. You guys, now, do you understand? Do, do you understand the, torn to the hierarchy of power in this room? Oh, my God. Um, you should come. No, I'm okay, dude. To the box? I don't... I can't, like... I can't stay... Bro, when we went to Tom Segura, I almost didn't make it home because I almost did a die on the parkway. What does that mean? Dead. I almost did a dead. Why? Bro, I was exhausted. Oh, bro. Come on. It's one night. Bro, I guess also, I, can't, place, I place, can't do this shit no more. I'm pretty sure this place opens at midnight, by the way. Also, I have no desire... To watch someone go on a stage and fuck themselves with a dildo. Bro. Man or woman. You think. No. On paper, that I'll, doesn't sound cool. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> they also play really good music. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what kind? Uh, just like... Just, it, mm, mm. No, yeah. Uh, no, no, not, no, not like... No. Right, then what? They play like hip-hop and shit. Like, like what? Like fucking, I don't know. Like if I go in there, am I going to hear like some, some Biggie? 
A hundred percent. Am I gonna hear some? You might hear it. Like you might hear stunt one on one. Hold on a second. Yeah, exactly. I have been <laughs> any place that plays that. I don't care what they. I do. I swear to God. I re I recently said to you like, how nuts would you have went if they played stunt one on one? If I'm out yeah. somewhere and stunt one on one comes on, I love that place. A G a G unit classic. If there's stunt one on one playing at the Republican orgy, I will be <laughs> pro life right now. Oh. <laughs> Your face, you went, oh, <laughs> holy shit, dude. Yeah. That was, that's boy, a good, it's just a good song. Thank God we're a little farther away from the ads. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, let's get into it. Oh, yeah, boy. Man. Who's coming for you next? If it's not the Swifties that are going to get you this time, it's, Planned it's, Parenthood. The, it's the police union, and then it's Planned and, Parenthood. Yeah. Planned Parenthood is going to get you. Westboro Baptist Church will be like, yo, I liked what you said on your <laughs> They're <gonna> say <laughs> They're gonna send in an ad read. Like, like, do you think? Do you uh, mind? Do you think God hates gays too? How, what else do you? Uh... They use some pretty more aggressive terminology. Yeah, I would say they do. Uh, they say that they're gonna burn in hell. Mm -hmm. uh, they hate them. You know. Yeah. Uh, and they're like in the most inappropriate places all the time. Like they'll the do that. The highway. <laughs> you ever who see, who yo, organizes how, these? Yo, how crazy is that? That people are like, yo, let's go to the store, make these signs. And then stand on the highway and try to influence people. It's like, what year is it? What I just want to know. About? I just want to know who organizes these events where they're like, "All right, I'll see you." There's a dead, there's a dead kid. <laughs> rally, <laughs> rally in a week. Bring your best signs. Remember, kid's dead. Yeah. Like what? Fucking. I mean, I think we've underst we understand that they they're not rational minded people. Well, yes. But they're like doubly dumb because they think that this stuff is going to get the point across. Yeah. Like who sees that and goes, they're on to something. Yeah, I see that and I go, I want to just, just – all it takes is this. <laughs> just like a little adjustment and then just, and then, just and a then, then, and then oh, Or you can get a – I mean your car has some pretty good shocks on it. I'm sure you might not even feel it. I, I'll tell you this. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> For you it takes this. And then this. Yep, that's For it. For me, in my car, it'd be go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, you just... Uh... It'd, be, it'd be a lot, you know? <laughs> also, like, I said this before in a video, but and it, and it still, like, it still remains true that... Every girl's a hoe? <laughs> <laughs> that's a Joey... Or a slut. Excuse me, that's what you used to say in those yeah, old first videos. Of all, no, I never said every girl's a slut. I know, but I did it's talk a about joke, that. everyone. But, um... No, that these, it's ironic that, th that these people that pick it, like, especially, <laughs> like, guys will pick it on the side of the road, like, uh, God hates gays or whatever. And it's like, bro, you went to Michael's and made a fucking, like, little poster board and, like, stood give on the me, side of the road. And it's like, dude. 16 by 12 oak tag. Yeah. Uh, give me your, your loudest paint. It's like, dude, arts and crafts. Also, kind of gay, dude. You ever noticed? <laughs> You ever notice that all these Westboro Baptist Church people are ugly as shit? Yeah. Bro, like maybe maybe God doesn't hate the gays. Hates you guys. He hates you. That's why you look like that. <laughs> God doesn't hate anyone. But if he blessed you with that dumbass face and that even dumber ass opinion, maybe, maybe, maybe look inside. I've seen... Put a mirror on the back of that picket sign. All the people that protest for Westboro Baptist Church... They look like cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> like old cigarettes. They all just like look they do. like... It's like they you do. They guys look like cigarettes. Just let me get like that. I, mean, I understand being mad. Because I'd be mad too if I, I looked would, like that. Absolutely. I would definitely be upset. They look like just like smoky. I, yeah, I think they're upset with the gays because no one would like them. Gay or straight. The, gays are, are mostly like, you know, they're well-groomed and like in shape and stuff. And they're the opposite. They're they're hideous cigarette people. <laughs> they look like cigarettes. They're cigarette people. I have not I have like I wish I was like a police sketch person because I have an idea in my in head, your head of what a man and a woman look would look like if they did this. And I promise you, there's like probably an exact. I'm pretty person. sure those are like the heads of the church. The the what are yeah. they what do they call them? Well, I, we went over that, like archbishops. Uh, no, but like of the Westboro Baptist Church, they've got to have different names. I mean, the dragon. What's the, the grand the, wizard? That's what it was. Why did I say dragon? I don't know. Listen, KKK, I would shoot all them in the head. But, but the fact but, that they named but, their leader the grand wizard kind of cool. is kind of fucking badass, dude. Yeah, like, <laughs> honestly, 
if you led with Grand Wizard, I'd be like, go ahead. Pretty cool. But then the rest of it, I'd be like, no, 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 no not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Uh, I, like I said, personally, I would kill each of them. Right. But <laughs> the fact that the head is called the Grand Wizard, a smart move. It's kind of, that's kind of like. That's the only smart thing they've, it's smart choice that they've made in their life. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> whack uniforms, though. Very whack, very whack, very whack. Yeah. Trash. You would think that they would make some sort of like adjustment, you know, like well, evolve with the times, you know. They yeah. understand that that's like get something more. But I think that's the point is they're such pieces of shit, and they understand that that outfit is synonymous with their stupidity and bigotry. That they're like, we want to instill fear in people. Mm, something scarier, though. That's a pretty scary for the right. You might not be the person that scares that much, Joey. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm, <laughs> to be honest with you, I think uh, like I'm pretty scared of like the kkk no <laughs> go ahead joey well, first of all yeah yeah i'd be terrified um but what do, you, what do you got to fear i remember well i don't know i, I for some reason they're gonna find something about you no 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 i'm not like, talking about the kkk who cuts anymore. your hair dominicans yeah <laughs> um but one time i was walking at night and there were two white dudes with like camo on and shit and just looked like and i and i was just kind of like it just made me uneasy yeah cam camo is becoming uh synonymous synonymous with just asshole with with yeehaw well and yeehaws be unfortunately we yeah. know not all yeehaws are oh, bad yeah. people oh i love yeehaw i'm, a, I'm a, I'll, I'll, ye I'll yee my ha every now Dude, and then i've been to nashville big fan of the yeehaw you yeehaw in nashville well they have a brewery there called yeehaw and it's Fucking dope. Oh, it's the one that has like the cornhole in the back and stuff like that. I remember you guys posting pictures when Bro, I wasn't there. Yeah, you ha and you were invited. Don't even start. That. I never said I wasn't. Okay. That was a leading. No, I'm saying when I wasn't there. Well, just oh saying. my god, here goes Joey. You were invited. Yeah, and you're sick and tired of it uh, because you know what? What's my fan base gonna be called that comes and cancels you and gives me 100 percent ownership of this show? I don't know, but we could figure it out at the box. No, I'm, I'm not <laughs> going to the box. You're dude. telling me you don't want to see someone dildo themselves. That's, 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 that's Let me make something abundantly to, clear. That's shocking to me. Let me make something abundantly clear. Who's not? Who doesn't want to watch that? That's crazy. I have no desire, bro. Eating like food, having like eating food. People doing like food competitions. All about it. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying I'll watch people do like yo. I can eat thirty cheeseburgers in twenty minutes. I would love to see that. I honestly would eating like to see a that. fucking silicone cock in their butt. No, thank you. Or or bunch. Yeah, well, like three a.m. You're like Listen to pretty me. drunk. The timing and the inebriation level is not going to affect my desire to pretty see Pretty drunk, and it's 3 a.m., and like, you know, there's a bunch of funny stuff happening, and then some dude's like, I'm about to bang my shit. And you're like, what? This is so crazy. No, 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 no. I think you know me well enough to know that I don't want to see that. <laughs> nah, bro, I don't know. No, you <laughs> What are you talking about? For, for Secret Santa, you got a friend. You got our friend a dildo. Yeah, I got it for him. I had no desire to watch him use it. What kind of a fucking what kind of logic do you have there, Joe? That thought, was not that was that was loose. Thought I was on to something. No. <laughs> but you know. What you got dope? You're gonna go on a box at eleven thousand patrons. Yeah, we are. Well, I'm probably no, going, I'm going not we. That. You're going. Oh, you're going before that too. You know what? That should be eleven thousand that you have to come. No, with. no. Because I'm it's not it. a punishment if I go. I want to go. I have no desire to want it's not supposed to be a punishment. It's just a, a thing. I didn't even say the box. You said the box. I said you have to go to watch one of these sex parties. Oh yeah, I'll I'll try to figure that out. That's just a tough one to make happen because I'm not gonna go to like a random Joey, thing that like I don't Joey, know. Joey. You're what? gonna tell me you don't know enough people. you've been to enough Michelin star restaurants. <laughs> yeah, Frankie, they're not offering sex parties at <laughs> I'm sure you haven't asked hard enough, Joe. All right? Do you guys... What's on the other side of the menu? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is there a secret menu? Like, right this way. <laughs> Someone's getting fucked. That's yeah. definitely a thing. Maybe. Nothing that I know of yet. Because just make sure if you do go one of them, just make sure you check everyone's IDs. Make sure you're not, yeah, like, yeah, being, yeah, like, yeah, placed yeah, yeah. in, like, an illicit... Oh, scary, scary, scary. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. that'd be a little... Yeah. That's why you have to go to one where it's like they have bouncers and like, you know. Well, that I don't think that makes much of a difference. Well, checking IDs. Oh, yeah. Because you know what? You're right, Joey. Bouncers have never looked the other way. 
You would, all right, yeah. I mean, what do you want me to do? I want you to be smart in your pursuit of going to a live sex You're party. making me do this. I'm not making you do a goddamn thing. The people. The internet. <laughs> that's true. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's all for this week's episode. We'll figure out what the hell's going on at 11,000. <laughs> Boy, what a fucking whirlwind of an episode. Yeah, this has been out of control. I honestly. completely forgot about my rap until Yeah, I said I was pro life back there for a second. Yeah, you did. That was a joke. Uh, we know it. Yeah. Um, but Put your stake in the ground. Where are you, Joe? Where am I? Yeah, on social media. What does that mean? Joe Sanagato on social media and then the basement yard. Oh, oh. Are, am I doing my outro now? Yeah. Oh, okay. What, you want me to do it? No, I thought you... You were, can find Joe. No, I thought you were asking me about, like, abortion. No, Joey. I, I Why like, would I be asking you? I was like, obviously, I'm not fucking pro-life. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, you guys can follow me at Joe Sanagato on uh, all fucking platforms and go follow the show uh, at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. F. Alvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on Instagram. Go check out patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We get to 11,000. Joe's going to go and get gang banged in the butt by a purple dildo. Well, so I don't know about that. Uh, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard, baby. Yeah, I may go watch that, but I'm not No, no, no. He's, yeah. the, he's there. I don't know about that. We'll I, he's definitely there. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>